going on, traders? Happy Monday to you. Hopefully, you were able to catch something that was moving for you today. Uh, let me go ahead and break down my plays. First, we're going to start with the market. Oh, let's never forget, I'm your boy, Marv, the man, the myth, the professor. Uh, if you like the content that we have coming to you, please subscribe, like, hit the notification button, all of those things, man. Anyway, let's go ahead and first, as we always do, let's start with the market, okay? And here's the daily uh, and this is the Dow. We can see, uh, if we remember last week, I was talking, I was showing you guys that it might pivot down here. So it's a, it's an equal low here. And if this thing pivots and starts to move, you know, there's some good traction. Um, this is a good deal. We know that the people are beginning to open up in other parts of the country. Uh, so, you know, there's, there's some good things happening that will help uh, push the market in the right direction. The SPY should look the same, should have this small gap up, probably a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger, not as much action in regards to the body of this candle. But this bottoming tail at the at the old low, uh, at, at a previous low situation, uh, this is all good news. Okay, this is for those of you that like a bullish market, this is all good news. This is walking in the right direction. So really, if they can start moving this thing back, we'll see. Uh, I guess that the test is, is just even getting over that whole number of 300 and seeing where it goes from there. Oh, so what did I trade today? OK, so that's the real uh, question. This is what we always do. We do our recaps. Uh, and so let me go ahead and share my screen. ACB was the first stock that uh, one of the stocks that I was looking at this morning. And interesting enough, this this had a very interesting open. Okay, so basically it was on some continuation from last week. The first buy uh, was at 1312. Um, and here's where I had my line. I had it based off of this candle. All of these wicks right here with buying pressure told me that this was a great opportunity. Um, and what's interesting is it went from here, pre-market, and it gapped down to 1220, something like that. What's interesting is I have my order in because I put my order in pre-market at 1320. And this thing came back, it halted at 1362, but it didn't get me in. So I find it funny because let this thing halt going down and I would have got in and they would have got me, right? But it halts, I don't get filled, so I just cancel the order. I'm very upset at this point because I'm like, man, this is what I wanted. And look at this thing, it ran. I mean, it, 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 it's, it went from basically $12 to $19 at one point in today. And, and where I'm only doing this, this is at about 9, what time is it, 9.30? Okay, yeah, 9.25. So, you know, there's still a lot of room and time for the market to, to, to for this stock to do whatever it would like. But this was my first play, did not catch it because I didn't get filled, and sometimes that happens, okay? The next play that we're going to talk about that was a 100% absolute miss on my behalf is ACB, my high volume play. And I'll kind of go over that just so you can understand but this was a this was very uh upsetting for me because I, I i got cute and i'm gonna show you exactly what i'm talking about so acb my high volume play is very simple um what i do is i look now you gotta remember this by the time i was trading this, this didn't exist i look at the highest volume candle and buying pressure on the five minute okay which was this candle here which had a low of 15 or excuse me 1480 okay I am willing to test that price action if it comes back to it again, especially earlier in the day. So this was the highest volume candle. It was clear that there was buyers here. You look at this chart, the way that it sets up, everything is in 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 a positive uh, play if, if this pulls into this action. I got cute, okay? I, instead of just doing what the play calls for, which was put the, the uh, order in at the low of the candle, which was 1480, I was like, oh, but it might come to 1450. You know, I start overthinking it is my point. And so it came right to my action. Look at what this thing did from there. It literally took off. It went from 1480 to 19, and I'm just sick. I'm just sick. Because literally, I was I knew what I needed to do. I was that was poor execution on my behalf. I can assure you that won't happen again, especially on a stock that's moving. That was just foolish on my behalf. Okay, 
It is what it is. All right. The next stock that I was trading is SRNE. And this one, of course, was up on continuation again. If you recall, last Friday, the stock was mentioning that they found the cure to the coronavirus or whatever. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and share my screen and let's see what I was looking at. So pre-market, I'm looking at this and the biggest candle here, these two candles, one and two. And they're right there at 904 strong candles. The second buy area would have been right here at 855. And so essentially... What I did is I put an order in for 904. What happens is as I get entered into this candle, it drops down to 862 and it halted. So now I'm like, oh man, I am royally screwed. Okay, royally screwed. This is not going to end well for me. Um, and essentially what it ended up doing fortunately is when it came out of the halt it dropped to 855 which was my second buy area and then it kind of bounced and it bounced to like 930 and as soon as it got over my entry i think i ended up taking it at 925 or something like that i got out of dodge because there was no way normally when you get caught in the stock that's halted going down you're usually screwed Okay, so the simple fact that I was able to actually pull a profit out of it, I was like, man, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm happy. It was only $60 that I made. I don't care. That could have been a $1,000 loss. Uh, I don't care. I was just happy to get out of there because normally that does not work out in that fashion. So, okay, before we get out of here, real quick, I'm going to address a question that I got. I'm going to go ahead and pull over to my YouTube channel and RKS. Uh, made a had a question um, on CERN from last week because remember CERN was running said I had somebody had meant, had quoted that they had a six thousand six thousand dollars in profits on CERN wiped out because someone sold super low for one instant triggering my stop right before it instantly ran back up to near nine dollars so only made 250 what a bummer okay now to be quite honest with you RKS it's hard for me to answer that question because I don't know what that person's price action was. So here's the only thing that I can see. He says that someone sold super low um, right here. Uh, and this is this is the only thing that I can see where it essentially sold off and then it ran. Um, so if he, he might have got it, I don't know. I have no idea where he got in at. So it's hard for me to ask, answer that question because I don't know where the person got in at. But here's what I see. The chart says this. It was moving strong. Maybe, I, I don't know, maybe he got in here and it sold off and then it really dipped real quick and um, and, and came down to this price action at 424 and then it ran literally to nine right after that. Um, maybe that's what happened. Uh, but the bottom line is, is we you know, all we can do is read the chart and it just shows me that the chart, it, it dipped down here and then it ran back up. Well, who did it, when, when and why? It's hard for me to answer that question because I don't know any of the price action in regards to what orders that that person had in that porter that person could just be saying that um and just probably poorly executed there could be several things that happened i just don't know okay so i it's, I, I appreciate you sending the question and i tried to answer it for you but it was really nothing that i, I all i could do is look at the chart and read a chart anyhow that's it for me for today i hope you guys enjoyed everything uh you know be safe it was a it was very uh limited day to me there was not much out there but the bottom line is i stuck to the plan i missed one and that was my fault uh just wasn't doing a good job of executing um and so i'm gonna have to deal with that and address that for myself i'll see you guys tomorrow morning we'll be ready locked and loaded hopefully we'll have a little more action because today was not much all right see you soon